my channel my name is summer and today I've got my what I melted this week video for you guys and um, I didn't get through as much as I planned in my melting basket video but that's okay um, I did melt through you know a good a decent size and so since it's just weekly I'm not gonna have that many empties but I will share the ones that I have with you um, and then I will highlight my favorite for the week and also stay tuned. I'm going to film like a monthly favorites video, um, whether it be stuff that I've hauled, stuff that I've melted, wax warmers. Like I just want to gather up my favorites for the month and, and share them with you. And also just so I can remember and see, you know, what my preferences were for the month and through the years. I think that will be fun. Okay, so let's start with empties. The first one I have here is Honey Buttered Baguette by Zape, and I love this. On cold, it's so beautiful. On warm, it is too, but it's not one of those like powerhouse scents. I would give this like a 2.5 out of 5 on like throw, but on the actual scent, it's like one of my favorites. It's creamy honey butter, fresh baked French bread, and it's just, I don't know, bready scents are just my love, and this smells divine. So I found that I melted it out in my open concept and it kind of like got lost and a little bit. I could smell it when I got like right in the same room or right in the kitchen, like right over. And then I melted it in my office, which is a smaller, more confined space. And it did so much better in my office. But I think some of it has to do with just the notes because it's just, it's not super strong notes. But Zape, I've never had an issue with performance. I think it's just the notes. But I loved this. Next, I have Twisty the Clown from That Smell Good Shop. This is spruce trees and fresh baked cookies. I melted this in my open concept and it did really well. It was probably a 3.54 on throw because I guess the spruce trees are really strong. But this smells so good and loved it. Next, I have Swanky Fairy Bread, and I will put the notes here because I don't have them. But um, this one was like a two on scent throw. Like I barely, I put it in my open concept. And sometimes lighter scents just get lost in there because it's three rooms and just. But this, this smells really light, but like I honestly couldn't really smell. I could hardly smell anything. And so for a little bit, I could smell it when I was like, just put my nose to the wax warmer. But then after like a couple hours, it was just like gone. So I don't know if this was like an older sample. I got this in one of her bakery like mystery bags. So maybe it's just, you know, lost its scent or it's just a softer one. Maybe it would have done better in my office. Next, I have Rose Girls Palo Santo Fluff Puffs. This is Palo Santo Monster Cookie and Marshmallow Smoothie. I loved this one. I did this one in my office. And in my open concept, same day, and it just, I feel like it just threw, like, in my whole house smelled so good. Paulo mixed with cookies is just so, so good. Loved this one. Next, I melted Glee Club from that Smell Good Shop. This is Paulo Santo and Angel Food Cake. I loved this one. I melted this one in my room the same day that I did Paulo Santo Fluff Puffs. I was just full of Paulo Santo this week. And this one was good. It wasn't as strong as the Rose Girls, but um, it did smell really nice. It just didn't, if the Rose Girls was like a four, this was like a three, but it still smelled really nice. And this is my favorite of the week. This is my last empty. This is Lavender and Speckles Donut Shop in Palo Santo. Of all the things that I've smelled from her shop, this is the only one that I've warmed so far, but this is my favorite scent in her shop. This is cinnamon sugar donuts blended with Palo Santo wood. Y'all, I don't even like the note cinnamon sugar donuts. Like I just, but something about this, like it is my favorite scent in her shop. In her last release, I think it just shipped, of course, cause it's like lightning fast shipping. There was only one left because I think her release was at two two and I couldn't, cause of picking up my son, I couldn't get right on. I picked it up and I almost cried because there was only one left and I knew I wanted to melt this and I'm out. So I think I, that's the only one that I'm going to have. So Beth, if you're watching this, please pour this in the next release, Donut Shop and Palo Santo. You can just name it Summer's Favorite because 
I can't see how another one would beat this out. Five out of five on scent throw. And this smells absolutely divine. This is the one my husband was like, what are you melting? I love this. And he doesn't even like bakery. And I was like, yes, it's so good, right? And he was like, melt this every day. I love it. And I did. I melted this for like three days. Oh, obsessed. Not to be dramatic, but this like, this, you gotta try it. Run to her shop when she does her restock, restock in a couple of weeks. And please get this and let me know what you think. Okay, so now we'll do unempties. The first one is my custom from Kay's Strawberry White Cake Sugar Cookie Royale and Zucchini Bread. This one, I love the smell of it, but it just did not throw for me. I don't know why. Uh, but I melted it in my office and it just, I mean, it was probably like a three, maybe two or three. Um, I could smell it when I got right over it, but it wasn't, it wasn't throwing like typically like Kay's does. So I don't know if it was just a, a fluke or what. Um, next up is Wizard Chest from Fantasy Wax. This is tea and cakes and Fantasy Wax, like this is, um, probably four out of five on throw. Oh, it smells so good. And um, I'm going to melt the rest of this probably tomorrow. And I love this so much. Tea and cakes. I think she just added that to like the core collection where she'll have it all the time. And I'm so excited because I love that. Next up is another one from Zape. This is Cappuccino Pizzelle, Vanilla Waffle Cookies, Toasted Marshmallows, and Espresso. I liked this one okay. I like it better on... I think I like it better on cold. So on cold, you smell... The marshmallows, espresso, and cookies. But on warm, I feel like all I could smell is coffee. I don't know. This was like a three out of five on throw. And I love the scent on cold, but you know, maybe I'll give it a try again and see. Uh, next, we have Vintage Cheek Scents, Coal Miner's Daughter. This is blueberry cobbler and cornbread. I love this one. I melted it in my office and it was a three out of five, maybe 3.5. It was a pretty, it was a decent throw. You know, now this isn't going to be super strong because it's blueberry cobbler and cornbread is not a really strong scent, but it smells so good. Blueberry mixed with like zucchini bread or cornbread or any bready scent is just perfection in my book. Next we have Rose Girl Sugar Cookie Dough, Cream Cheese Frosting, Waffle Cone, Monster Cookie, and Royal Sugar Cookie. This one... I wasn't expecting it to do much because all these are kind of light notes, but honestly, this was like a four out of five. Like I could smell it. I put it in my open concept, which again is another strike against just because some stuff gets lost in there. I'm going to add another warmer. I have a Scentsy Accord like in the middle and then I've got like a smaller warmer, a Happy Wax in like the living room and I want to add one in like the kitchen dining room area just so they can all like complement each other because it's a huge space but this one did really well and I like it especially because like I said all of these are kind of like lighter notes but this one did well and then the last one is called it's time from Bodies Harmony this is pink sugar toasted marshmallows and birthday cake um for some reason this is leaning this smells like a dream like an orange dream sickle to me and it was probably a three out of five, um, but it doesn't, I don't get pink sugar. I don't know if it's just mixed with the other notes, but it smells like a dreamsicle, which is good, but I just wasn't expecting that from um, pink sugar and marshmallows and birthday cake. But anyway, I liked it. This wasn't what I was expecting. So that is what I melted this week. Let me know what you melted down below. What were some of your favorites of the week and what are you looking forward to melting next week? My melting basket video should be up tomorrow on Monday and um, I'm excited to share with you my picks for this week, for this upcoming week and um, let me know what you're melting down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.